She's a yoga therapist, an actress, a singer. Please say hello right now to Rishma Malik. Hello, Rishma. Hello, how are Hi. you? Hi. Very well. Happy Good. International Women's Day. Thank you very much, and happy International Women's Day to you, too. Why, thank you. <laughs> I, I feel like which one of these things is not like the other, so hopefully mm. I'm okay sitting in on... International yeah. Women's Day. But you appreciate women, which is good. Very much. Exactly. Well, not as much now that I'm married, so, you know. <laughs> Why? I appreciate oh, I just my okay. wife now. Yes. Good. That's there good. There you go. I'm glad we got that cleared up. So Rishma. you're a yoga instructor. Let, let's talk about this. You, you, are, you kind of balance your life as an actress and, and a yoga instructor. Which, which came first? Acting came first. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I didn't. I didn't think at uh, at the age of 20 or 19 that I ever really wanted to become a spiritual person or that well-being and mm -hmm. mindfulness were going to be important to my life. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the acting came first, and then and then all of the kind of experiences that the acting world has provided for me have actually kind of led me to seeking, mm -hmm. you know, mm. not necessarily a higher power outside of myself, but. Right my own power, you know, mm. oh. so that you can be on a set with so many things going on and on top of it playing a role that necessarily isn't the easiest role to carry, you know, mm -hmm. it might be something really painful uh, for yourself, drawing on painful memories or whatever mm. and and dealing with all of the tension and stress of the experience you know what do I need to draw on mm. to make myself be able to deliver to the director is my own inner power you right. know it's my own believability my own balance my own sense of self mm -hmm. basically yeah. when did you discover yoga and how I mean, it's, it's very popular now, yeah. but you discovered it a while ago. Yeah, and you know what, and this is the thing, is that the way I discovered it was actually through an adversity. I had a polyp on my vocal cords, and um, a lot of singers get that. And um, oh. yeah, it was as a result of, I was actually in LA singing, uh, recording an album, and had realized that through, I don't know, maybe it was my life experiences, there was just a rupture in my throat. Mm. Sometimes a person can get that just by being at a ball game and going, yeah! <laughs> you know, mm. um, and uh -oh. singers are always concerned about it, etc. But I, nonetheless, I got it, and um, one of the ways to overcome that naturally without the surgery was I was recommended yoga. Wow. And wow, what an amazing experience it was. It was like, <gasps> I mean, I was like thanking this polyp within, within a week of my yoga experience. I was like, wow. Because by that point, I was all about go, go, go. And by the, by the point where you're on that floor and you're on your mat and you're listening to this teacher guide you into yourself, you know, it's just, it's, it was the state of, of wholeness and self-love that I had never touched So did, did you find that wow. that, that yeah. happened uh, instantaneously? You got that right away? My first yoga really? class, yeah. It was actually a pose called a Child's Pose. And so, for example, there's, there's these forward bends, right? Mm. And we won't do it now, but if, if I was on the floor, I'd be on my knees. But right now, I'll just show you. If I were to, like, go forward right mm. here and then relax my head and relax my arms, just be like a rag doll, mm. and then start breathing into my back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it takes a sense, it takes, you know, getting out of your head and just deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, like suddenly the world goes away mm -hmm. and you're in this place of like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little like mm -hmm. connection to mm -hmm. your power and your yourself and it just became love it was really like in that moment I was like thank you so and you I didn't know what I was whatever thinking was missing, yeah you know? yeah definitely and now it's been eight years since then mm. and there are many things that have shown up that are missing mm. you know <laughs> along the way believe me like yeah. oh my god you know but the opportunity is is that I get to become a greater you know uh, have a greater kind of sense of purpose and also really feel more and more kind of in touch with who I really am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you get lost, right? Daily life can get you lost. Oh, yeah. You get honked at, honked at, or you get into a fight with someone that <laughs> you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes out of left field, mm -hmm. and it's an energy. Yeah. And it's like, okay, how do I, well, you know, it's like shedding, like your cleanse. It's, mm -hmm. it's shedding. It's shedding this tension that we hold in the body. So I have a lot of um, clients that are actually like really into sports and athletes, and, mm -hmm. and then I've got executives who have like, companies where they have to mend over, you know, like be be the guy the, the, or, the, or the woman, the chairperson of all these people. And what is that all like? Well, that's like a lot of stress on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And so there's this sense of just like, you know what, let go just mm -hmm. for tonight. Tomorrow morning you'll be on top we'll be of the world on. again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like not to be frightened by those mm -hmm. moments of calm.
So what are some of the things that, some of the exercises that we can try just at home sure. sitting on the couch? Okay. I mean, yeah. there are things you yeah, can absolutely. do. Yeah, absolutely, or at the, at the office. So let's say if you just cross over one leg, okay, okay. so you're already crossed already over. There. And whatever I leg is on top, is okay, whatever leg is on top, take that arm up above. Okay, so if you're, if you're left cross. leg, I'm left so. leg right now, so I'm bringing my left arm up, and I bring it down my back, and then I'm going to bring my other arm around and see if I can grab hold of my fingers. Can you try totally. that? No, you're already oh, majorly challenged. No, but you're okay. You're okay. Okay. It looks yeah, like you're in pain. <laughs> okay. Well, well you're in business attire. Right. Okay. I yeah, exactly. This. The dress and the let suit me just, doesn't help. Let me just go this far to say, though, that even just by raising this, you've actually lifted the, the, the blood circulation of your mm -hmm. arms. Oh. Like, if you just bring your arms up right now. Just bring them up. I bring can them do up that. And just go like this and shake. Shake, 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 shake your fingers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, you're letting, you're letting the impurities kind of move through. Okay, here's a breathing technique, mm -hmm. okay? Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth like this. Go. As though you're fogging a mirror. Try it. <laughs> try it. Nice. Now try to make that same sound effect through a closed mouth. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Nice. Did you feel the breath move down into the belly? That felt good, both ways. Thank you. Okay, that's called ujjayi breathing, and in my kids' classes, I call it Darth Vader breath. Hmm. Right? It's very <laughs> relaxing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and it stimulates, you know, the sense of relaxation. So when you focus on a longer exhale, you're going to relax your state of being. Oh. You're going to move out of the outside world and into yourself. But when you want to increase your inhalation. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. If I take a chest opener, okay, this is a back bend, mm -hmm. okay, even though I'm not bending my back forward, mm -hmm. I'm back bending, I'm bringing my chest open and I'm, it's like I'm breathing the energy of my heart and my lungs mm -hmm. up beyond my head. You can almost see it, you know, if you had x-ray vision, right? And then you mm -hmm. let it all go and have the intention that I'm letting go and you will Everything. be within, what, three minutes we've just spent, you know, doing a little bit of yoga. Very cool. So if people want to uh, maybe learn some more, do you teach classes? I you can totally do all that? teach all classes, right. yes. Beautiful. So I how was, can people I was, get in touch? Um, well, they can get in touch with me at my home number and also my website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can contact me there. I think we have that information. And I teach kids' classes in school. So, and I know York Region, um, there's lots of public schools here that have lunch hour programs. Mm -hmm. And I come in and, you know, as a performer, you're asking, how do I balance the two, right? Yeah. Yeah. As a performer, it's balancing that actress in me with with, you know, getting kids to love yoga. Very simple. I love it. we yeah. got to have you back because you yeah, have a, love a to. single coming out. Yeah. You are also in the film Water. Mm -hmm. So we'll have you back another time to okay. talk about some of the things you have going okay. on. Sure. All right, everyone. Coming up next, we're talking about Nutrition Forevering. We'll be right back.